Hello everyone, today we are going to see the recipe of making very delicious Javarsi Semia Payasam or Sago Vermicelli Kheer using instant pot. Switch on the instant pot in saute mode and add 2 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter and I am going to add handful of nuts. Here I have added a handful of cashews and I am going to roast it until they turn golden brown. Once they turn golden brown, I am going to add some dry grapes. Here I have used black raisins. Sort until the raisins turn fluffy. Now I am going to add quarter cup of vermicelli or semia. I am going to roast it for a minute. If you do not have this, just skip this. Adding just the javarsi alone will give good flavor to our payasam or gheer. So this step is optional. This is to add more flavor to our payasam. It's roasted well for a minute. Now I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. Our ultimate aim is to reduce the vessels which we are going to use. So this is going to be a one part dish. Having the instant pot in saute mode, I am adding extra tablespoon of ghee. I am going to add quarter cup of javarsi and going to fry it for another four to five minutes. Here I have taken the lighter ones. If you are going to use the thicker ones, then you need to soak them in water for around two hours minimum and then cook it. The main problem everyone will face while making payasam is it will thicken after few hours. I will share you one tip to avoid this. It's been almost 5 minutes. Our javarsi is fried well now. Now I am going to add 4 cups of whole milk. This payasam I am going to serve immediately. So the tip which I am going to share now if you are going to keep it for hours to maintain the consistency is add 2 cups of water. Just plain water will be enough. It will help you to maintain the consistency even after hours. Instead it will turn creamy and very tasty. Now I have closed the instant pot lid. I am going to cancel the saute mode and switch on the porridge mode and set timer to 15 minutes. If you are planning to add white sugar, you can add now. You can add around half cup of sugar for 4 cups of milk. Now I am going to add jaggery to for the sweetness in payasam. I have taken around half cup of jaggery. Though it is powdered jaggery, I am going to make a syrup out of it to avoid the dust particles which settles at the bottom. So if you are sure your jaggery is pure, you can add it directly to make it as a one pot. But I prefer adding jaggery syrup. It will change some taste also. I am I have added 2 tablespoons of water and I am going to make a syrup out of it. And going to filter it and then our jaggery syrup will be ready. Make sure when you add the jaggery syrup to the payasam, it is in very cold state. It should not be hot else it will curdle the payasam. This is the step we need to be very careful while adding jaggery syrup to the payasam. After 15 minutes in porridge mode and natural pressure release, our payasam is now ready. The javarsi is cooked well. I am going to add the cooled jaggery syrup now. Make sure the jaggery syrup is cooled and it else it will curdle the payasam. Switch on the instant pot in saute mode and let the payasam boils until you get the right consistency you need. You can stop at any time as per your requirement. Here I have added some cardamom. And I am going to add the roasted vermicelli, cashews and raisins. Vermicelli will get cooked in just one minute. So you can switch off the saute mode. And it will thicken going forward. So do not boil it more. I have boiled for around just 3 minutes. I am going to serve the payasam right now. If you are going to prepare it for parties as I said. Just add 2 cups of water with the same measurement of everything. It will help you a lot in maintaining the consistency. Hope you like this recipe of making delicious javarsi payasam using instant pot. Subscribe to our channel for more recipes like this.